Hey guys, it's iPod Touch Girl 22 and I want to do a quick how-to video of how to downgrade how to downgrade from 4.0.2 firmware. Um I I unjailbroke my iPod Touch. Well, I unjailbroke my iPod Touch and downloaded it to 4.02 and so far there is no known well, I do not know of any jailbreaks for 4.02, 4.0.2. So, um, to prove that it is in 4.0.2, real quick, we'll go into settings, general, about, and version 4.0.2. So it is in 4.0.2. Gotta stop saying that word. Anyways, quick how-to video of how to change it to 4.0.2. 0.2 or 4.0.1. So first, um, turn. Well, make sure your iPod is plugged into iTunes, and slide the power off. While it's powering off, hold down the home button, and just keep it held down. So now it is into the right setting, and it'll pop up on iTunes. iTunes has a set detected and iPod in recovery mode, you must restore this iPod before it could be used with iTunes. So click OK. And um, before clicking restore, go to felixbruns.de backslash iPod backslash firmware backslash um, on your internet browser. And a link for that will be down below so you don't have to type all that in. Uh, go to your device that you want to downgrade to. So I have the iPod Touch, so I would be going to... Come on. Okay, so I would be going to... So they have a lot of them. iPhone 3G, S's, iPod Touches, 2G, 1G, 3G. Anyways, I'm 2G, and right now, and I want to go to 4.0. Let's say this one. So either one, I don't really care. And then you just click download. I already downloaded mine, so um, once you do that, go to your iTunes thing. And um, before clicking restore, just click shift on your keypad, restore at the same time. And wherever you saved your um, firmware at, just mine's under here right here so I'm gonna go in um, double click it to open it and it says iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to iOS 4.0 and will verify the restore with Apple so just click restore and then it just goes and extracts the software and restores your iPod oops sorry about that So then it verifies um, or it prepares for the iPod to restore and it just goes into restoring it and it does take a little while but after it's done it, it fully restores your iPod touch. Oops, sorry about that. Anyways it comes up with the progress bar on your iPod touch and then you just wait on that for a while. Okay, so after we restored it, and now it's restoring from the back, the backup. Um, it took seven minutes to do that, so it's pretty short. Anyway, so now once it does this, it will be back into um, 4.0 or whatever you chose to put it back into. It sounded weird. Okay, so after we're finished, it gets a message saying um, your settings have been restored and it's going to close automatically. Anyways, um, it has restored it and real quick, whenever my iPod actually um, loads back up, the progress bar loads back up, I'll kind of show you real quick that I'm not like lying about it or whatever and that it is restored. So I guess we'll wait on that. And I also heard, it's kind of random, but 
um, people were worrying about this, so real quick, I guess I thought I'd just say it. I don't feel like syncing it. Anyways, oh, I never said it. Um, iTunes 10, I heard that it's, it's, um, okay to jailbreak, um, with it, update it, if you have a jailbreak iPod or jailbreak on it, like it's safe, it's not gonna, it's not, like, changed to where they'll get you or whatever. Anyway, so now it says version 4.0 and so now I'm gonna go jailbreak it so I'll see you guys later thanks for watching hope you like